the right for you. Your whole persona is what you do fits you. Don't fit no other woman out there. No. It fits you. You stood there at the rows and you bam, 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 bam. Always prepared. Always doing the job. We had guys that went, now prepare. Yeah, and you said, get mad. Big, yeah. I said, don't blame. Why is she funny? She's prepared. Right. A fucking butcher has knives. He cuts the fucking meat. He don't go to work and say, I cut it with my hands. <laughs> He's fucking prepared. She came prepared. Every time she did a roast, she did a stand up wherever she worked. She was prepared. Right. That's what it is. Don't be envious. Say, muscle cow, what a wonderful thing. There's a girl from nowhere, and you're going to be a major star. You're going to get your own series, you. and you. you're going to be on home. I, yeah, I, uh, oh, I know your career. Yes, you do. My uh, first HBO special is airing on January 31st. That's is it a half hour? Hour. Hour special. An hour from where? Yeah. Uh, I, think in, do I do it in Santa Rosa, California, and it's called Long Live the Queen, because I'm the queen of mean, as you know. I was going to call it Lisa Lampanelli, the other white meat. But um, I mean, no, serious. The pork was gonna sue us. No lie. So really? I was like, well, I guess we can't go. Whatever happens, in Lisa you? stays in Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> you did it in Santa Rosa, California. Yeah, it was fantastic. And it's gonna be shown when? It's uh, January 31st, the night before the Super Bowl, 10 o'clock. Oh, that's a great time. Yeah. Oh, it was fun filming it. The night it. before the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Get, I mean, get you it, can't right? get a better spot. And by the way, no, I'm serious. You wait, wait, don't answer. Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to score. See, that's when you know when things are falling into place. She's going, hey, hey, hey. And now the night before the Super Bowl, they show a special, which is just dynamite. Just, you're going to be forgetting. I'm very really excited. Great. And uh, where else? You're making a movie? Or you're just no, I actually, I have a deal with HBO for a sitcom, and Jim Carrey is the executive producer. Who are you going to play in a sitcom? Myself. I play myself. I'm an angry insult comic. Oh, you did it already? No, we're filming the pilot in February. Can I so... play your father? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I think actually you would be fantastic. Can I play your mother? I'm like, hey, oh. I like that. I like to see you. Lisa, it's a lot of work. It is. That's what I did a couple of yes. pilots, yes. and it's a lot of fucking work. You get old. You get old. And you be and after you do eight years, the money's all over. You can't sleep because the money's in the bedroom and all that. And you start to lose something. You start to buy forty-five Porsches. You start to get the brownstones, clear them out, and put your Porsches in the fucking brownstone. Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. You don't hear from him that often. Mm -hmm. He's buying Porsches. I know. Yeah. You know because what happens is the climbing is over. The climbing is the fun. The climbing is geez, I uh. I missed here, but I'm going to get back again. That's the fun. She's climbing gradually, you know. Dog goes a little slow. You grab, but when you go, boom, eight years on television, you become fucking old. You really do. Guy goes, you know, because he works. And Jerry, I love Jerry. He was, he was one of them that put me on his show. I saw him at Caesars. I mean, I'm saying, he walks. I said, he's a big star. But the flavor ain't there. You know, the flavor ain't there. He's getting a hundred million dollars a fucking show, but it ain't that ain't like you know the kick of making it and the kick of doing it. And that's not taking anything away from him. I mean, he's got he bought another fucking Porsche. I ain't got a fucking car. <laughs> this guy's got 55 fucking Porsches. I made a couple of million in my lifetime. I ain't got a pot to piss in. But at least I got a bed. <laughs> at least I got a lamp that goes on. I can see where the fuck I am. <laughs> That's what life is about. Don't buy 17 cars. I won't. I won't. I won't. Do me a favor. <laughs> prenup. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Fucking prenup. Remember what I told you. I know. I understand. You go. Anybody who wants to marry who? No. Why do you want to marry me? Write it out. Prenup. You want what? All you're going to get is staminka. That's what you're going to get. <laughs> and I'm going to get that. But you know what I'm saying. You are... <laughs> I'm just distracted because there's a black guy. You know what kills me? <laughs> I mean, they win one fucking presidential election and it all goes to hell. You know why I love you? <laughs> How did he get in? You blend in. <laughs> we have a president now. The doors are open for everybody. Let me tell you, I am happy Obama's in the White House. I am because he is a black man who is just white enough to do a good job and show up on time. Right. It was a little late. Don't knock it. No, I won't. And let me tell you something, my colored friend. He did Obama had the best speeches. He would be like, I want 
want change. And I'm like, that's just what America needs, another black and white. <laughs> See, I'm topical. <laughs> that's healthy. That's healthy. Because we were always uptight. Yes. Whoopi Goldberg said it. I was watching her biography show. Many years ago, I said, I am not an Italian-American. I'm an American-Italian. Because if Vicky goes to war, I'm staying the fuck home. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm watching Whoopi Goldberg on her biography. And they were asking her about you know, certain things. What bothers you, Whoopi? And she said, I don't want anybody calling me an African-American and telling me to go back to my fucking country. I was born here. I'm a fucking American, I went. I'm in my room all over. I don't care with me. You're my kind of... Because that's what it's all about. To say I'm African-American, I don't say I'm an Italian-American. I'm American. I, my country's a What the fuck you want me to do? We couldn't beat Ethiopia. What the fuck you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> I swear you. Mussolini is dumb son of a bitch. El Duce. El Duce. El Duce. He was telling the people, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he attacked Ethiopia, who had no guns, no nothing. How did he beat the Italian army? They smelled. <laughs> the fucking place was corroded. Everything smelled like cabbage and they surrendered. <laughs> they fucking surrendered to the cabbage. <laughs> that's, that's Mussolini. Okay? And his argument was, well, I had to go with Hitler because he was next door. I got assholes next door to me. I don't have to live with them. <laughs> you see? Now, the slavery thing has got to be stopped. I never had a slave. I never made a slave. Don't fucking blame me. What happened in the 1800s? I didn't do a fucking thing. I don't say, hey, Abe, you're white, you saved the blacks. That's bullshit. He had to do it. It was his fucking job. Meanwhile, we're fighting each other, the South against the North, the North against the South. Now, all the waste of lives. And we're still the United States. We're back together. We're now 50 states fucking each other up. We have a governor in Illinois who said I didn't do it. He's full of shit. He's going to sell his Senate, the Senate seat. We got a woman here, Kennedy, who wants to be the senator of this state. We got great fucking politicians who should be the senator from this state. I mean it. I got no skill. I got, I would tell Wong, Bloomberg, you be the fucking senator. He'd make a great senator. But this well, he's not Democrat. Who gives a shit? Who cares? He's really Democrat because he's Jewish. You know what he's bullshitting me. <laughs> Nobody's bullshitting me. He didn't have room in the Democratic Party when he was going to run. He said, I ought to be Republican. Don't tell nobody too much. <laughs> it's like Lieberman. It's fucking smartest Senator Lieberman. His own people fucked him. The Democrats fucked him. And he went independent, and he said, kiss my ass. So Harry Reid, another bargain from Nevada. He's been a Democrat since he was born. He's been a senator since he was born. Wanted to hurt Lieberman. But you can't hurt a man who has his ideas. That's what made him a, he came this close to being vice president. And if he wasn't a Jew, Al Gore would have been the president. And I tell you now, many people say, we can't have Al Gore because then they're going to kill Al Gore, and we're going to have a Jewish guy president. Who gives a shit? As long as he does the job. I mean, give me a break. This too heavy for you. No. Can I interject? 